What is this guy up to? He's targeting. Oh my god! She's a dominatrix! She's dressed like a dominatrix! I don't understand what you're saying, but it's probably very naughty. And he's been a very bad boy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Do not feed the monkeys. I'm your host, the bird. My name is Falcon. We're day number eight. The landlady will be back tomorrow. Let's continue onwards here. What did we do last time? I'm trying to remember. I've had a really rough um, weekend. Re-uploading a bunch of videos. A bunch of my videos from last week got deleted. A lot of them included my Do Not Feed the Monkeys series. So I am oh, trying to recuperate this week and I forgot what I've done. It's been a really taxing weekend. Um, In the comments, you guys let me know that apparently the store... I use that to buy stuff for people. Not for myself, but for people. So I listen to sometimes what they need, and I send them items, but that's kind of also like feeding the monkeys, so I'm not sure that's the best thing to do. 33% off of fruit, that's always a very good thing to do. We might want to go over there. Anything happening right now? No, we could do that right now, I'm going to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, apparently... Uh, let's buy... Uh, 10 more? 40 bucks? Oh... Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Let's do it, though. Apparently, I was told that the flower grew smaller when I took the package that I was not supposed to take. And if I did not take all three packages, if I did not take the last package that I did from the mailman, I would have gotten a, a permanent mailman job. So I messed that up. Had I only known, I was so curious about the package, though. Oh, we got something. We got, uh, we got some stuff happening here. Hey. You. What? Zuv me piol? Yet me piol? What language are you talking to me? Or talking to somebody else, which I'm peeping on, ma'am? Za jupe jupe, we need an epe haliza. Za ja wep. Zao. Vimu toyodnes. I don't know what. Is this a real language? If it is, I'm not necessarily trying to make fun of the language. I'm just saying it. I don't understand what this is. Goi rasi. Goi pipe tipa expu. Aminado. <laughs> I'm having a little bit too much fun doing those, so I ain't gonna lie to you. Mu mu mu. Mu pienitiza. Expuloito. Lisamparu. How am I gonna even search? Oh, you're you're one of the ones with another camera, aren't you? Alright, let's just buy it now. We got a little bit of money. Don't miss out the details. Zap. I don't know what any of this means. How am I supposed to pair this up if I don't know what the hell it means, though? Ah, oh, somebody's not. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah. Huh. Yo, is this about the package? Dude! No, you see, I didn't know. It's the postman. He keeps bringing the wrong package to my house, so I had to take it. Why are you dressed like the CIA agent in, a, in a, a freaking Hawaiian shirt? You're not fooling me, cops. Government. You're moving in? Okay. Him. Right. The entire process is very normal. You are, you're, you are gonna keep tabs on me? Is that what you're gonna do here? I'm not dumb, my man. I'm not that gold. Goodbye, dear n Yo. I'm not sure if they're here for me or somebody else, but that's, that's like some CIA stuff right there, dude. Um, when it comes to my boy over here, music legend, lower the curtain. I don't think we did that one before. Here we go. So, Ethan Edge. Rumors about a new record by Ethan Edge. After an extended hiatus five years, sources claim that the musical legend is working on new songs. Lower the curtain. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, right on time, huh? Why are you so obsessed with this song? The rest of the album is finished already. We could release it without this one. No way. It's the most important one. You'll see why. All in good time. Shall we record? Okay, boss, lower the curtain, new take, and... Recording! Oh, something else is happening elsewhere, too! Oh! Oh! Oh god, this is gonna be annoying! I gotta... <laughs> click back and... It's gonna get very annoying, guys, but I think I can't miss something that's happening. People told me to expect this at some point, like, I gotta be very, like... Low-key about this, I can't be like, you know, being funny man Falcon here at all times, gotta be very vigilant, so... Sorry if I'm a little bit silent here for this point. But, I don't want to miss anything. We, we're actually getting some English- Oh! We're actually getting some English letters from this lady now, too. Oh, 
I don't like this at all. Like, I like, oh, we got a dude now. I like taking my sweet time with this game and like, you know, just observing everything very closely. I hate having to switch back and forth, but I can't miss any details. Who's this guy? I don't know what you guys are saying, too. You're coming back at 22? Okay. He's coming back at 22. Good, good. Leave. Please leave. Just leave already. Well, not, not you. I, I needed you to stick around because I'm not sure what you're up to. What is this guy up to? He's talking to... Oh, my God! She's a dominatrix! She's dressed like a dominatrix! I don't understand what you're saying, but it's probably very naughty. And he's been a very bad boy. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This game never gets... You know, there's always something happening in this game. I love this game a lot. This is like one of my favorite games this year, no lie. Ah! It's you guys again. Hello again. We're Amy and Ted, preachers for the local Wildlands Witness Church. We come to see how our plant is, but would you like us to tell you a bit more about the word of Billy Bob, the Holy Butcher beforehand? Uh, no. <laughs> what a shame. You don't know what you're missing. Well, let's see how our plant is. It used to be better, but then I, I took a package out of, you know, curiosity. Oh, look, that plant hasn't changed much since we left it, which you know it did. It was blooming with, like, big flowers, and then I ruined it. It's true that some small flowers have bloom, and that's a good sign that the plant has picked up good vibrations in this house. Chin up, you still have time to make it grow more beautiful and luxuriant. And remember, there's no need to water it. It gets its nourishment from the loving kindness floating in the air in the room. We'll come back soon. I'd rather you nod, because I don't know what you're up to. Okay, so 22 is when dude's coming back. Oh yeah, and this over here. I'm supposed to find out for the email, like, what time the alarm is turned off. So I'm gonna, like, pay attention to this and this at the same time. Tezao Hope. Is she trying to learn English? Is that what she's up to? It's starting to make a little bit of sense because, like, she keeps, like... Oh, there was something that said dust over there. There was something that said dust that we could pick up on, but I missed it. Um, she keeps, like, repeating some of the words they say on TV. I think she's trying to learn English. Okay, we got cattle as well. Turn red already! Alright, you guys almost done here? Because I need to go check up on Ethan Edge soon. See, Ethan Edge is there now. <gasps> we got it! It turned off! It turned off, boys! Uh, okay. Oh, uh, everything's happening at once. We totally got it. We... Totally got it. Okay, hold on. Uh, stop. Oh, now I gotta stay here. It turned off, right? And it turned back on. It's okay. Was the was the question? Shoot. Stuff still happening over here too. Ah. Okay, we missed some dominatrix stuff happening, but it seemed like it's just a repetition of what we saw earlier. The lights are off now, though. Uh. Oh, you can't look at. Oh, you can't. Put it aside and do that. No. Okay. Okay, so are you guys going to record or anything at some point? Lower the curtain you take and... Okay, so let's see. But meanwhile you do that, I'll come over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, she totally is. Look at that. So, Dick... Dickle. <laughs> no, I didn't say Dick. I said Dickle. Dickle. Means farm. Spitas is cattle. A soup is a spanking. Passionate kiss. Oh, man. That guy was asking for a spanking and a passionate kiss. We got a lot of stuff ready for it, so that's kind of all right. Uh... 22. I'm hoping the email that was asking for information was really, um, what time does it turn off? If so, we got it. Damn it. I have to make a call and rest for a while. Let's leave it for today. We'll meet again tomorrow at 14. Don't you get blurry vision. I know, I know. I might get some sleep soon. 14. 14. That's still tomorrow. Okay. We're, we're good. So he's leaving? Hey, um, don't we have, like, a second camera for homeboy? Oh, first time. I'm hearing like screams of agony and pain and torture. I'm not sure if that's outside of where I live or like background sounds in the game. I hope that was in the game. And people are being killed outside of my place right now. I'm actually a little bit worried. <laughs> it could be the game, but the game makes a lot of weird noises in the background all the time. I hope that was the case anyway. 
They're gonna go out and check Falcon if somebody's dying? No, it's fine. We're, we're, I think nobody's dying, hopefully. Bert plays dump. You should have seen what this place was like when I was little. So he doesn't like it when people call his birthplace a dump. The sunshine, the tranquility of the beach, it was an authentic paradise. So this is all being recorded to his same record file, right? So these two cameras make up one. Cool. That's good to know. Time ruins everything. Ain't that the truth. Now I should get a little sleep, if this pain lets me. No, of course, I'm not going to try to get something on my own. What? With my addiction history, no one could sell me even cough syrup. Oh, so can I buy you whatever you're looking for? And if I did that, why would I want to do that? <laughs> why would I want to feed your addiction? I don't know. Huh. I wouldn't be starting to go buy something for this guy. Okay, um, this off. Uh, let's find out about that freaking email final. So, um, email one. Uh, case study eight. Okay, prime investigation, alarm protecting cage unit is turned off for a short time each day. At what time is it turned off? Baby, we got it. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Okay, so we got that. Ethan Edge, Bird Place, maybe? Hey! Sunny Shore. Okay, so we got Sunny Shore. What can you tell me about Sunny Shore? That's the same thing, okay. The beaches of Sunny Shore? Oh, Office of Tourism, and we got a phone number, too. Oh, we could call them up. Are they open now? It's almost 9. No answer. We need no answer. Oh, service from 9 to 22. So once the day rolls over, we can call them up. <laughs> Alright. So we're on day number 9 now. Your current club ranking is level 2. We have to get two more cameras in two days. That's fine, we could definitely do that. Landlady will be back today, which means 90 bucks for the day away. All right. The walk sex case. The walker dogged by rumors of drugs and prostitution. Protected witnesses say they attended a private parties where the president and the other politicians and business leaders requested the services of prostitutes victimized by local human trafficking mafias. Chad Me Go, a universal chat application, the verb of Chad Me Go, has become one of the most um, expressional social media things. Suicide. Su suicide. Suicide shows his kindness face. Starting next fiscal year, family members of suicide victims will be able to deduct funeral expenses of their tax returns. Oh, that's that's very kind. Yeah. All right, we could call this place up now. Let's do so. Oh man, another call. Sunny Shore Office of Tourism. E. E. Thompson speaking here to answer all your queries about a fabulous town. What can you tell me about Sunny Shore? Oh god, that question. I could tell you so many things about our fabulous town, many marvelous things about Sunny Shore. Its beaches, its shopping malls, its wonderful and exclusive souvenirs. So could you please ask me a more specific question? Uh, what should I bring along to enjoy the beaches? Well, if you were a friend of mine and considering the city of the sea, I would tell you to bring a wetsuit and a good disinfectant. <laughs> uh, the paradise of the earth, bring your bathing suit and sunscreen. Let yourself float around in the sparkling sea. Okay. Um, souvenirs? Do I need something like this? A handmade plate? I'm afraid I'm out of stock. Uh, a shell? Out of stock, pity. Colorful sarong? I'm afraid. Do you have anything at all? A book of postcards? The authorities made us discontinue. Okay. I don't think they got anything. Um, let's ask about... Don't hang up. Let's ask about Ethan Edge, because he was born there, apparently. Wow, so the legendary Ethan Edge was born there. Dear God, what a pain to have to talk about that guy again. Yes, that perverted junkie was born in this town. In fact, I have it on good authority that the transvestite drug addict recently returned incognito to Sunny Shore. <gasps> oh, he's in Sunny Shore right now. You wouldn't know how to get a hold of him, would you? Of course I know. This is a small town. Many reporters are looking for him, and I'm always willing to help. Whatever it takes to annoy that messiah of poor taste. But I don't work for free. This is my current fee, $20. The address of his name and studio. $20 on that information, I guess we gotta do it. Good, good, good. Well, write this down. Here's the address, 134 Cornelius Road. Um, okay, we got it. Should have been instantly put in there, right? Yep, we got the road and everything, cool. So I think we're done. Now the question becomes... 
What exactly? Oh, the phone number. I still have enough for the rent. Okay. We'll write this down. This is the number of his home and recording studio. If you call him, give that pathetic drug addict my regards. <laughs> no, just kidding. Don't do that. I mean it. Don't do that, okay? Have a nice day. And for don't forget to come see us. So we have just enough money for the rent today. Um, record low prices. We're still waiting for the... I haven't gotten paid for the this one yet, right? No, I still don't have... I don't think I got my reply just yet. That could be money right there, too, anyway. Record low prices on fruit. Two for one? Man, I got them at 33% last time. You scumbags. Oh, but we could do this one now, too, because we got the complete address. So, what is the complete address of gauge number 10? We got it now, boys. Okay, so, hold up, hold up. All right. That'll pay off all the information we basically got right now, too. Dude, we're on, we're on a roll. We have answered just about everything correctly, too, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's done. You get out of here for a bit. I think we've got to start working on either getting a little bit of extra cash in the side. Like maybe like a two-hour job or something. That could work. Four hours. One hour. Ooh. Don't mind if I do for an hour. So I don't want to miss anything on the... No, think about Bob. We got an email, so I think we got one of our um, things correctly. So 15 and then 70 bucks for. Oh, oh, you're back. Oh, but you're just talking. Uh, you're just talking that weird language. So we gotta like start figuring out what she's talking about, though. Yeah, I know about the two for one sale on fruit. And we got the 70 dollars for that. I still haven't gotten the the observation for number eight, huh? It's still pending. Yeah. I wonder what happens if we call Ethan Edge. Oh, you show up when I call you? Intriguing. Oh my god, I'm talking to the legendary. Should I do this now? Isn't that going to piss him off? I'm calling the home of the legendary Ethan Edge in Sunny Shore. Is this a good idea? Maybe I should have waited on this. I just want information. Damn it, is this another one of those calls? How many is it now? Hey, look, whoever you are, I don't have time to talk to reporters or fans right now. I have much more urgent things to do. I'm totally sorry, but tell me, how the hell do you get this phone number? Well, I dialed at random. I looked it up in the directory under Rockstar Legends. The local office tourism sold it to Well, they, they kind of did. Do I feel bad about writing them out? Not really, I don't know. They charged me for this information. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there had to be a reason for all those calls and harassment recently. I have to take action against those bottom feeders. I still have my influence in this town. Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to hang up now. Is that it? I better be able to call you later for something, maybe. Okay, so... Oh, Landlady? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Take it away. Three days. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go back to work. All right, so let's find out about these... Things here. Oh, this is gonna be so dead. I don't even feel like this could help me out. Like I feel like I just gotta. Oh, we got, we got Diru. You look like you're like a mechanical cow. It's kind of weird. So farm cattle and mechanical cow. Is that the location? Probably. Oh, yeah, the, the Waylon Billy Bob things are cattle. Yeah, imagine that. I wonder if I should record her in a dominatrix suit. I mean, she's a nobody, technically speaking, but I mean, like, um, you know, it's still a shock TV. You know, dominate, although maybe she should be beating him, whipping him when that happens. I guess that could be it, too. Stop. He's stopping. No information about this guy either, huh? What's going on? Never seen you like this. I'm gonna record it just for the hell of it. Today's not one of my better days. Okay, okay. Back in 22. Alright, they're all gone. Yeah. Alright. So, we got more translations at the very least. We have this video here. I'm not sure if that's really for anything. I'll send it off to Shock TV. I mean, why not? It's 
irrelevant. A person dressed as a dominatrix is promising, but not sufficient for our audience. Do you have anything in a, for an action? <gasps> Ooh, so this will give you a little bit of info, like, all right, like, this is what you're supposed to be. Ah, I see. Like, this is what you're supposed to be looking out for. If she's in action, so whenever she's beating that guy up, record it, send it, we get money. Perfect. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, for now. I'm gonna mess around for now with these... Definitions here. Because we're out of time anyway. And then we'll come back next episode and continue onwards. We're in day number 10. We're doing pretty good when it comes to everything. Um, I could also need to buy those things. I'll probably get some work done, too. So, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick, for, stick around for the next one. Any sort of tips you want to leave behind, by all means, do. I'll catch you guys next time.